Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Spidobite. I'm Shan today. I have an incredibly important topic to discuss, SIM swapping. You may have heard about this recent form of cybercrime that has been on the rise. In this video, we're going to dive deep into what SIM swapping is, how it works, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself from becoming a victim. So grab your notepads because this is information that you definitely need to know. What is SIM swapping? SIM swapping, also known as SIM hijacking or port out scam, is when an attacker manages to gain control of your phone number by tricking your mobile carrier into transferring it to a device under their control. This is typically done through social engineering techniques, where the attacker poses as the victim and convinces the carrier's customer support to transfer the number to a new SIM card. Once they have control over your phone number, they can access your personal accounts, such as your email, social media, and even your bank accounts, bypassing two-factor authentication measures. It's like they have the keys to your digital kingdom. Now let's break down how this scary process actually works. How does SIM swapping work? Firstly, the attacker gathers as much information as possible about their target. This could include things like your phone number, date of birth, and even the last four digits of your social security number. With this information in hand, they proceed by contacting your mobile carrier's customer support, pretending to be you. They claim to have lost their phone or damaged their SIM card and request the transfer of their phone number to a new SIM card. Unaware of the attacker's true identity, the customer support representative follows the standard protocol and initiates the SIM swap. Once the swap is complete, the attacker's device now receives all incoming calls, text messages, and even the authentication codes for your online accounts. The victim remains completely oblivious to what's happening until it's too late. Protecting yourself from SIM swapping. Now that we understand how alarming SIM swapping can be, let's talk about the steps you can take to protect yourself. 1. Secure your personal information. Be cautious about sharing personal information online and on social media platforms. Beware of phishing attempts and avoid answering suspicious calls or messages that request sensitive data. 2. Set up a PIN password for your mobile account. Contact your mobile carrier and ask them to set up a unique PIN, password, or passcode for your account. This adds an extra layer of security and makes it challenging for attackers to impersonate you. 3. Use two-factor authentication apps. Instead of relying solely on SMS-based two-factor authentication, 2FA, consider using authenticator apps like Google Authenticator or Authy. These apps generate time-sensitive codes on your device, making them much more secure than SMS-based methods. 4. Enable account alerts. Many mobile carriers have the option to receive SMS or email alerts for account changes or SIM swaps. Enable these alerts to stay informed in case any suspicious activity occurs. 5. Call your mobile carrier. Immediately, if you suspect that you have fallen victim to a SIM swap or notice any unusual activity on your account, contact your mobile carrier's customer support immediately. The sooner you report it, the faster they can take action to protect your account. That's it for today. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching.